Uh, hi, Dr. Ace Thayer here. We're here doing a new patient today, Matt, who found us off YouTube. Uh, he's in dire straits. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He, the interesting thing about him is that he's seen a chiropractor 10 times before me. Um, uh, my soapbox here again. Went to the chiropractor uh, because of, he had dizziness and the chiropractor took pictures of his neck and worked him up as a normal new patient and never, not one time adjusted his neck. Nope. Only did supine thoracic adjustments. Uh, tried to do a little towel jerking, on, or no, traction. He did some traction on your neck. 10 times, felt absolutely zippo. So he saw my videos, ran from that chiropractor, which is a shame. Adjust stinking necks chiropractors. People will run to me like this. So, uh, there's my soapbox. Uh, so, Matt, you have had a problem for the last year. Mm -hmm. And what is that problem, please? Have a lot of pain in the back of my neck here. Um, can't turn my head left to right without getting nauseous, feeling dizzy. Feel like I'm going to pass out. Um, <clears throat> can't work from it. Can't really drive from it. Um, just at my wits end with it. And gotcha. Just... And so uh, he told me that when he goes to work driving as part of his landscaper. Mm -hmm. So uh, when he goes to work, he has trouble because... He just sitting in the truck, sitting at a light, and he tries to make it look right. Yeah, just look, to look left, just right. not even do anything ridiculous. Not over his shoulder, backing up, just mm -hmm. looking left and right. What happens? Start just you get this sensation that goes up your temple here in the top of your head, and it, it's just uh, dizzy, nauseous. I vomited several times from it. Uh, car sick type feeling. Gotcha. Um, neck just locks up, can't move it left and to right. And so you don't go to work not because you can't work, because you can't drive to work. And you feel what? Like if you were going to drive, you feel like what's going to happen? Then I start getting the anxiety, worried because about of, your, because of the neck. You're worried you're going to get in a car accident. You're so this is how you're, you're worried about getting nauseous in front of your employees. This is happening. how bad it can get when you have imbalances. He's a perfect example of somebody when it attacks direct balance. And so I always talk about balance and how it affects the body and how it's going to affect pain in the body. But this is affecting his brainstem directly. And so it's affecting it so much that he is experiencing this massive nausea, vertigo sensation. What have you done for treatment so far on this? Besides the chiropractor that did nothing. Tried to take some over-the-counter ibuprofen. That's right. He doesn't take very much of that. Doesn't doesn't do anything. Uh, uh, you've also been diagnosed with anxiety for yes, how long? I've, uh, almost a year now. A year, eight months, you said? Anxiety medication. Medication. And the anxiety medication hasn't changed your dizziness at all, right? No. But no, just the anxiety's gone, but uh, the neck is just getting progressively worse day by day. Day by day, and so you drove how far to come see me? Uh, almost fifty miles. Fifty miles. Yeah, a lot of chiropractors between there and here. Yeah. Um, let's see, motion sickness. Absolutely. Uh, can't ride shotgun. Can't ride in the back seat. Okay. Just immediately within five minutes, I'll be nauseous, vomiting. <clears throat> uh, I think that's it. Anything else? I mean, that's the big, that's the big that's symptoms. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. So we also have an interesting thing. He says, uh, what, is it, what, is, what hurts the most in your body here? My neck. Your neck. My neck. And so we did the exam yesterday. And what, what was the thing when I, te when I touched your back when to you, examine your back? When you laid me on my stomach and you touched my lower back on the right side, I screamed like a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> it, the interesting thing is that when I touched his neck, it didn't hurt nearly as much as no. his low back. Yeah. So this is one of the first times I've seen that normally people come in and go, oh, my back, my back, my back. And when I touch their back, it doesn't hurt as much as their neck. He's exactly opposite of that. Mm -hmm. So um, he's a hybrid of the situation. Oh, uh, yeah. We talked about weight, too. This mm -hmm. is one of the biggest patients I've ever had. And so uh, chiropractors, don't be scared of somebody big. <laughs> 400 pounds. Okay. And so you can still help them with the right adjustment. I'm not a huge guy, but I'm going to help him a lot today. Uh, you just gotta do the right adjustment. Okay, so I'm gonna do this real quick. Ha Lay down your stomach real quick here. Just stay right there with the camera. We're just gonna palpate his back real quick. I just gotta show you this. What a 400 pound guy sounds like when he's, he sounds like a, uh, a girl. Can you scoot down one? Like that. You can put your arms down your side? Yeah, just down the ground. Good. Just down the ground right there. Good. So I'm just gonna palpate him real easily here. So the other day I was kind of going through and I just did an exam. So we touch his hips right here. Okay. How painful is that? A little more on the left. A little more on the left. A little more on the left. And so when I push here. Ah. How painful is this? It's it's painful. Okay. You guys see how much I'm pushing? Ah. Yes. Okay. It's it's painful. 
Okay, not so much here, right? Not so much there. Yep. So right down here. Yep. Oh, yes. And he yes. doesn't feel any low back pain. When's the last time you felt low back pain in your life? I couldn't tell you. Yesterday when I touched it. Yes. <laughs> Never before. When I push this, you can actually yes. feel all the swelling here. Yep. There's, there's a whole bunch of swelling right here, and he doesn't even feel it. Okay? Now he has some pain up here. I'm going to push on his neck up here. Yep. Oh, and yes. that hurts, but not as much as down here. Uh -uh. No. Go and stand no. up, sir. Oh. Uh, that was interesting to me. Oh. Oh. So stand over here. I know all you guys hate me for exploiting my patients, but <laughs> but he thinks he's doing this not just for himself, but for everybody else out there, so they Absolutely. can learn from these videos. Absolutely. So, uh, thank you for letting us Absolutely. be your uh, be our guinea pig here. Knee straight. Just do the best you can. He's okay. worried about being uh, too nauseated on this one, so he's going to go the best he can. That's about as far as I can go. Okay, any pain in your back? Uh, a very slight bit, oh, um, because more just because where you push, pushed, but... Um, How was dizziness when you went down? You just kind of feel the blood kind of rush to your head, okay. but I get in the calves back here, gotcha. just tightens up. Go and go back. <sighs> Zero range of motion here, but what just, does that feel like? That's about as far as I can go. Any pain with that, though? No pain, really. Just okay. I just but can't zero, go any farther. Just feels zero like you're, range of motion. Okay. feels like you're just hitting the wall. Look at the floor, please. How's your head there? How's your neck? It doesn't really hurt much. <laughs> okay. Um, mm -hmm. Doesn't really hurt much. You just kind of feel the up in here. Gotcha. The, uh, okay. Look at the ceiling. The sen nausea sensation. A little bit of pain, not too much. Kind of feel a little bit, just a hair gotcha. down here in the lower. So back. really, all these range of motions is not too much pain. No. It's only a little more nausea when you went down. So let's do this last little thing here because okay. I want to just kind of get this in the camera. Can you come a little closer? <clears throat> so uh, I just want to do what you do in the car. So okay. when you turn. Go and turn, and, turn. See, and tell me how you feel when you turn. Oh, uh, just immediately. Uh, immediately what? Tell the camera. Just please. nausea. You just feel a very lightheaded, car sick feeling. Gotcha. Just, that's what it. What way? Not as bad looking to the right as it is to the left, but gotcha. it, it's but still you feel nausea. Absolutely. Gotcha. Within within seconds. Gotcha. Okay, so let's get you adjusted. <clears throat> Face up here, please. Anything in your pockets? Keys. Uh, yeah. Just keys, keys out there. You change. Yes, we change. It'll all fall out if you don't take it out. It's a little cargo pants here. Uh, it's just okay, I'll we'll try. Out of Good. Uh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Good. Hands a little lower. A little lower on your belly. Back down here. Good. Down here. Yeah, you don't have to go that low. Right okay. about there. Okay. Now try to relax as much as you can. He's watched a lot of my videos. Um, probably a little anxiety a little to, be, bit. To, to get adjusted today, yep. which is fine So because he, he watched more last night. <laughs> so, But he knows what's going on. So just relax the best you can, okay? Okay. The more you relax, the easier it is. Okay. Remember what I say in the videos all the time, I'm not going to go for a home run the right. first day. Yep. We're just going to take it nice and easy, okay? Absolutely. Good. Oh, so just so I can tell you guys, I looked at his x-rays already, and those are popping up in a second here. Um, not much. I mean, there's definitely interesting stuff on there, but no smoking gun like I would expect. Um, check those out. But uh, I thought that's interesting. Just because it's not really, really bad looking doesn't mean he doesn't have problems. So this is where you get all that mm, oh. Yeah. Right now I'm pressing on his suboccipital mm. muscles and you can feel that and that's the feeling mm. of nausea and vertigo is all coming back right now. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm going to set up on his adjustment here. Oh, see it's already starting to pop. Mm -hmm. Good, nice easy adjustment. Here. Oh! Oh! That what is hurt. that reaction? It hurt. It, it hurt. hurt. It hurt. Um, felt good and hurt at the same time. Okay. <laughs> uh, good. Spinning a little bit right now. Spinning a little bit. Yeah. Okay. One more. Oh. <sighs> Try to breathe in your nose, out your mouth. 
There you go. The more you relax again, the more you'll kind of get back into that center. Good. How's the dizziness? Coming down a little bit? A little bit. Good. A little, get... little sore in the neck from that, that crack. Okay. That I felt that <laughs> through my whole body. Whole body? <laughs> yeah. Okay, this side should be easier, just so you know. Okay. Oh. Oh. That was huge. You guys yeah. hear that? That was even bigger than the other side. Oh. But it, wow. it should have hurt a little bit less. It, yeah, a little less, yes. Yeah. A little less, yes. Uh, my body's just kind of shaking right now. Yeah, yeah. Just. Okay, no more adjusting, okay? So okay. you can relax. Okay. So all I'm going to do is touch your neck now. We're going to get in here, and you're going to feel something different already. You tell us, when I push here, what does that feel I'm different? Not, I'm not getting that nausea sensation right away did at you all. Just, when I did it a minute ago, were oh, you? Oh, I was, I was ready to tell you to stop. Are you lying to the I'm camera? I'm not lying to the camera yeah. either. Yeah. So all I'm doing is pushing on my suboccipitals again. Wow. And you can feel that they're relaxed. Wow. Wow, Doc. Wow. Wait, wait till you get up and move. Wow. Now again, um, Rome wasn't built in the day. Um, it's just it's just sore back there from from, from being stressed from the from being stressed and yeah. from the. Okay. Okay. So uh, when you get up, just like in the videos, okay. no twisting or turning, okay. right? Okay. Uh, you just sit on the table and just look straight ahead. Keep okay. your arms to your side. No okay. twisting or turning, right? Okay. Good. Uh, yeah. uh, Sorry, your legs over the side, please. Straight ahead, just relax. Try, to, try to not to put a lot of pressure in your hands. Not too lightheaded, just a little, kind of a little dazed from the, okay, from, the, from the crack. Remember what I say in the videos too, is that right. when you're lightheaded, that's good. It means right. it's affecting your cerebellum. Right. And, you, right. and that pain was because it's been so mm -hmm. ridiculously oh. out. So you're gonna walk for me. Okay. That's gonna help recalibrate your spine. You're probably gonna get more lightheaded as you start to walk. Okay. If you need to, grab the wall, but just try to allow your body to just find its okay. own way. Okay. Look straight, arms down. Okay. Good work. Now look down, look straight ahead, please. Don't look down the floor. I'm going to look straight ahead. I'm going to stop right here and go back. Unless you want to be in another video. Feeling pretty good right now, actually, to be honest with you. Feeling. A little different, huh? Yeah. Okay, one more lap. Let's do one more lap. Let's make you feel even better. <clears throat> the laps are not me trying to get him to tell me what I want to hear. The laps are really to let the body recalibrate. And everybody keeps thinking you're just going to, I keep making you walk until uh, <laughs> you tell me what I want to hear. So will you tell us what, what do you feel right now? Um, Honestly. Neck is a little sore just just from the adjustment. Um, I'm not feeling nauseous. Um, just a little lightheaded. Um, it feels like a bag of cement has been lifted off my back. To be Interesting, honest. huh? Um, I love that. It felt. It's just been feeling like I've had a hundred pound bag of cement on my neck for the last year, and it. My body just feels relieved. Uh, I, I don't feel that weight sitting on my neck. Cool. Now let's take a um, look at how you're doing. Bend over, touch your toes. Okay, go ahead and stand up. Any difference, truthfully? Legs, I think that's right? a lot farther than I went last time. <laughs> um, I think so too, but I don't no, like to put no, words in people's mouths. No pain, really. Um, like I said, I'm just gotcha. my this body's one. just a little. This one will surprise you. Go ahead and go back. <laughs> a little more than. Little, little nauseous from that. Little nauseous, okay, little but nauseous you also more range of motion when you back. That was way more, it was zero before, but no more nauseous, okay? Go ahead and look at the ground. How's the nauseous looking down? Not really. Look at the ceiling. Okay. 
No, okay. no, no, no. Now let's do this other one. You were notched when you went back this way, but I want to see the ones that we checked on in the room. Okay. So just look straight ahead. Okay, now look to your left. Well, obviously you're feeling better because you're doing yeah, it way longer. Yeah, yeah. He's holding it twice as long as he did before. And no, no nausea sensation from that. Again, just, just a little... I'm just a little still kind of calming down from absolutely, the adjustment. Yes. The adjustment. It, it hurt a little bit. Yeah, so absolutely. I'm just kind of. Let's do one last thing and okay. we'll get this done. Over okay. Over here. On the video. Face down here. Just want to touch your back. This was interesting to me. <laughs> okay. Okay, try to relax. Okay. okay. I'm just going to push on here again. Ow. Ah, uh, still about the same, huh? Yeah, ow, yeah, ow, ow, ow. Yeah, still the same. Yeah. So, swelling's still there. We do pretty good work. <laughs> I was hoping that would be a little less, but it isn't. But uh, thank you so very much for Appreciate letting me do the video. Thank you. And we'll do a follow-up on him to see how he's okay. doing, because he's uh, somebody that is really interesting to me, because, again, it's affecting the cerebellum directly. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm Matt. With names uh, you damn mouth names, I know. So, Matt, what visit is this for you? This is my fourth visit. Fourth visit. So, I've only yeah. treated you two times or three times? Three times. Three times. Okay, so first couple times you were a little dizzy yep. when you adjusted you, yep. a little freaking out, like, yep. is this going to help? Um, tell us about your first time home. Your wife drove you home. My wife had to drive me home. Why? Was very lightheaded, that dizzy. Was first, that was your first one. From right? the first adjustment, it just knocked me on my butt. I was yeah. like that for about a day and a half. Yeah. Um, second got a, one? Second one went a little better. Yeah. I was able to drive home from that one. Still felt a little out of it, a little clouded. Gotcha. Not as much dizziness as before. Um, and this last one? The last one was like the light switch went off. Um it went smooth. I got up, no dizziness. Um, pain was almost gone. Um, drove home by myself, no problem. Um, got home, started to change the way I was doing things in my normal life for my uh, business. I need to do invoicing on the computer and uh -huh. such. Um, broke it down into 10, 15 minute sessions. Yeah. When I feel the neck starting to tighten up, go for a walk, go get a drink of water. Put your cell phone down. Put the iPad down. That is just aggravating. And why is that? Because you were saying some really great stuff. When I put ago. my neck down, uh -huh. it pinches and pushes in the back of my neck, and it sends a huge, dizzy, nauseous sensation throughout mm -hmm. my whole head. Mm -hmm. The whole key is don't put your head down. You need to put your cell phone away. Forget you have the thing. And this, this is thing. why I got this on, on tape, because I tell people <clears> this in the future. Uh, you're figuring it out for yourself. You are so sensitive to this looking down thing that you see the reality right away. Yep. And so Absolutely. Uh, very, very good information about not looking down. You feel it instantly. Yep. So everybody out there, when you look down, you create your own health. And what I would feel and what I would feel it before prior to coming here, I would keep on with it to where it got so bad that I was wiped out for days yeah. at a time. Yeah. Until I could recover from it. Exactly. So now you're seeing, you're, uh, like I tell people, you're turning on the warning signs again. You're right. starting to recognize when it's bad, mm -hmm. and you're like, dude, why am I going to hurt myself? Absolutely. Good. It's not worth it. Right it's on. not worth it. So you Face, glad you Facebook can wait for another time. Facebook can wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you like the trip down here? You, Absolutely. You think, you, you think you're getting some out of Absolutely. this? Absolutely. Right. Compared to the way I was a week ago, it's, it's night and day. Good. Thank you so much, man. No problem. Good.